Papa drive you to work? Well, no, nah, but just because he embarrasses me when he's cussing out the other drivers. You know, I bet Dad is really gonna miss you when you're dead and gone. I know I will. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miss Williams, I got here as soon as I'd leg could. Uh, uh, I was just fixing a run. God, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, it's okay. I couldn't see anything. Really? Because it was halfway up to nothing. He couldn't stop laughing whenever his teacher would say breasts. <laughs> shut up. You shut up. Hey, we don't say shut up in this family. Hey, but Dad. Hey, shut, hush up. <laughs> Smoking can cause lung cancer, heart disease, and yellow teeth. Don't you know that grabbing on my jacket is bad for your health, too? Think about it, homie. <laughs> I worked out all summer for this chest. You shouldn't have stopped it this summer. You look like the Black Gilligan. <laughs> I want to know what you're going to do about your little brother. Well, you know, I once tried leaving him in the woods, but he located the North Star and beat me home. <laughs> Man, you can't put second string Steve in a game like this. You telling me? Man, he's living proof that it ain't only white men that can't jump. Well, look on the bright side, Gilligan. At least your chest is bigger. <laughs> District report card game. And you know what that means? A whooping. <laughs> and he's right, you can't see anything. What type of night vision goggles are these? They're regular binoculars. Oh, yeah? Well, then you explain to me why my dad's always using them at night. Oh. New girls who don't know you for the loser you are. <laughs> Shut up. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Mr. T.J. Henderson. No, is he in some sort of trouble? No, sir. Why would you think that? The two white guys show up in my door in FBI suits? What am I supposed to think? <laughs> Moe got a kick. Goose got a kick. Why don't I get a kick? Oh, you really want your kick? Because I'll give you a kick right now if you want to. Ew! Are you attracted to my father? How could I not be? I have eyes, don't I? Well, get him checked and read the birth date on his license. He's old. Love knows no age, Yvette. Oh, yes, it does. You know what? Love has strict rules on age. One or two grades older, max. You know what? Go home. As a matter of fact, go to Florida. Hang out at the pharmacy. There's great pickings down there. Probably have to beat them off with a cane, which they have there, by the way. Bye-bye. Prince has his pumps and them cute little pants with the booty cut out. I'm just asking you of the guys who were robbing the place. We change rub his tummy to. <laughs> what? Better leave that alone. He might like it. <laughs> no, I would. I better step out my face before I knock you down. But that don't even rhyme. <laughs> now I thought you were my friend. Oh. <laughs> oh. And he was wearing a ring. Black belt, huh? See if I can give you a black eye to match it. Say Come here, man. Hey, hey, see you later there, champ. I gotta get to work. You need a ride to the cluck bucket? Or is the colonel picking you up? <laughs> I never should have pulled you out of the pool that time. Except you've got the broken leg and they're loading the shotgun. Yeah, those sharks will mess you up, girl. Hey, and if you notice, Pop, you never see none of the brothers going down in them shark cages. But well, we don't mind lowering them down, though, do we? <laughs> this is the roof over my head. Now, what do you see on my roof? Two frisbees and what looks like an illegal cable hookup. <laughs> oh, you got one of those, too, huh? <laughs> I want you to go downstairs and explain to Dad that you'd have a lot more fun going out with my date than whatever loser he got for you. And trust me, boy, She's a loser, okay? So let's go. Go ahead, there, boy. <laughs> Show you right. Where's Andrea? I got a heart in the treehouse. That won't work. 
I locked the little door. Oh, good, kidnapping. Hello, it's called hide and seek, not lock and left for dead. Wow, is she gonna break you off? You can't keep up with that. She gonna, oh, okay, all right. Take a little roll out that Tootsie Roll, okay? We're gonna keep this rated G. Save the earth, save the earth. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, wait a minute, what's so funny? No, no, I was just picturing you up there on that stage, trying to do your sexy look. I don't have a sexy look. I know. That's why you play bass. <laughs> and what you want to do, huh? What you want to do, man? Well, how, what you, you want to do? Come well, on, what you want to do? I'll you like Tyson. Oh, it's not presidential. You're blowing our chances. What? Oh, my You want to pound on him? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's give him a head start first. Go. Go. <laughs> Please don't hate me, because I look good and I'm mine. That's not why I hate you. Now, you're going to have some time tonight to shoot some hoops with the old man. You know, get me ready for the big game. Oh, well, it could be pretty late. You know, I might go out with the fellas after work for a drink. <laughs> I might go to church and pray. Ah, oh, thank you. You've been a big help. By the way, I'm Marcus, and you are... Too old for you. Not in Europe. <laughs> Man, I wonder how urgent that was. Some guy in Texas just went... <laughs> He's my brother. Oh, I see. It's a black thing. Righteous. <laughs> No, he's my actual brother. You know, same parent, same house. I know I should have given this job to the fat kid. No, I never spanked a coach before. But one more word out of you and you're behind his mind. A 52-year-old woman with a backside the size of Delaware doesn't exactly have the fellas lining up at TGI Fridays. But no. Are you sure? Because it looked like you were staring at that woman's butt. No, no, I was, uh... Well, Dad doesn't go to bars. Most men Dad's age meet women at work. Wait, Dad's a roofing contractor. How many women on roofs? Yeah, and any woman you do meet there is probably a jumper and not a very good long-term prospect. Although, this one's had collagen injections. And those have got to be implants. Uh-oh, that means the two of you will be unchaperoned. Ooh. <laughs> so don't do anything that I wouldn't do. <laughs> you know that I was joking, right? Because <laughs> there's nothing I wouldn't do. <laughs> we got Too much gangster rap, man. Gotta get a handle on that. Conversely, you could study harder and get more right answers. Then you'd look good. So you really think Mo didn't do it? I'm sure. Because I have the wide-eyed innocence of a child. Don't ask. It's a long story, and it ends with Mo being nude in the garage. As so many stories do. The excitement of watching you touch the wall first and then the joy on your face as you pulled your glistening muscular body out of the pool. <laughs> she knows six different ways to kill you with a popsicle stick. <clears throat> ah, keep up the good work, guys. Every day I fear puberty more and more. You're both going to hell for this. But we're going with dates. <laughs> and my point is, you did five without college. And my point is, shut your mouth. <laughs> well, what about her hand? Can she put it in my back pocket? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nothing like sitting on the roof drinking beer in a can. What, so TJ can have a girl in the room, but I can't? What, you don't trust me? Right. <laughs> Dang.
Thanks. You hear that, girl? Bad boy. <laughs> A little surprise for everyone. We already know about your divorce. We're working things out. <laughs> Although after John Henry beat the steam drill, his heart exploded in his chest. <laughs> he was dead before he hit the ground. You bet. I'm placing all my money on TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Figuratively speaking, of course. Oh, yeah. Betting? This is wrong. Why you gotta play the white pieces? How come you can't play the black pieces? <laughs> From Tron Text Computers, undefeated, untied, and operated by Mr. Oren Hamilton, is Socrates! <laughs> All right, guys, I want a good, clean match, and the white pieces move first. How come the white pieces move first? <laughs> How come there ain't no black people in Carolina City? Why wasn't I invited to the wedding? What, are you ashamed of your own brother? There was no wedding, and yes, I am ashamed of you. <laughs> She's gonna kill me! I'm not gonna kill him, I'm just gonna hurt him a little! Break this! Would it kill you to clean the tub? Why don't you clean it? You don't want to sit there all day. How would you kill a vet? 18-wheeler, oh, right through a room. Can I ride shotgun? <laughs> see the beer drinking frogs. I love the beer drinking frogs. It was my belief that when beer commercials started using frogs instead of girls in bikinis is when America lost its way. Here in the new ad, the frogs morph into supermodels. Then our nation has retained its greatness. Hold our office and stay out of my way, you skunk wipe. <laughs> you have a concept? Well, yeah, I would like to show the beauty of nature. Okay, I like that. Cool. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start you off in a bikini, and I'm gonna put you right next to this poster of Hawaii that sits right in my room. I'm gonna hook you up. Go look. Hey! Hey! <laughs> see, it's totally private. It's just for my art class. Nobody's gonna see it. Then forget it. Look, I'm a model, okay? I've studied. If this were for an ad or a calendar or something where I could get a little exposure, I'd be interested. You'll be exposed. You'll be in a bikini. <laughs> Sleazy stuff. Does she dress like that all the time? Yeah. Girl's pants are so long I can see a box of shorts. <laughs> Come here, TJ. Come here, TJ. Oh, you're not TJ. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. You're not gonna be glad when we get home. In fact, if you can follow my rules, you can come kick it in my crib 24-7. Didn't I say it right? I've been watching your MTV rap. Didn't I say it right? I love that kid. He's a killer. Yeah, but if he keeps killing all our players, you and I are going to have to suit up. Why are you talking to me? Because you're almost nude in this photo. Look. <laughs> you can keep that one. I've got tons. Teach, I am serious. He's smelly. He's messy. I don't have any confidence he can learn 20 words. And he got to go. We're finally getting rid of Marcus? <laughs> Get strong. That way you can survive the whooping we gonna lay on you. <laughs> I'll do the report on Jackie Robinson. Oh, oh no, you, you won't. won't. Just because I'm white, isn't it? <laughs> Only reason why we was late yesterday was because the liquor store next to Dog Burger was getting robbed. You know, so the cops was asking us questions. But I'll have to pat you down first. Okay, but then I'll have to knee you. <laughs> She's clean. You think there'll still be important stuff to fight about when I'm old enough? As long as the Republicans still control Congress, I'm sure there will. You know, they have a pretty good fiscal policy. We can debate that later. I must say that in the pantheon of heroes of the 20th century, we most certainly must count the name of Jackie Robinson. It's because I'm white, isn't it? You're out of gas. Man, I hate him who's with me. You wreck my third of the car, I wreck a very important third of you. What you, what you doing in dance? Well, it's artistic. It's athletic. And I get to pick your sister up by her butt. Hey, that's kind of good. Well, why she got to wear that skimpy little thing? Why she couldn't be in the number with the raccoon coat? As long as we're laying down some ground rules, I have a few of my own. 
If you use my bathroom, I'll kill you. If you touch my underwear in the dryer, I'll kill you. If you try and make eye contact with me, I'll kill you. What if I was... I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, same rules as my Aunt Ellen. <laughs> You can't kill your little brother. Man, You'll I... get grounded for that. I could eat dinner butt naked. I prefer you eat dinner elsewhere. Well, maybe he had car trouble. Maybe he slid off the road and he's lying in a ditch somewhere. That's very sweet of you to say. But I don't have that kind of luck. I think they're gonna jump me and I won't be able to stop them. Basically. <laughs> okay, why doesn't everyone come to order and take a seat? Or we could pick one student at random and beat him within an inch of his life. <laughs> or we could study astronomy. Why don't you just open the door and push me out? What? It's dark. No one will see. You can watch me bounce in the rearview mirror. I am never going back to godforsaken Hogback Mountain again. Where's TJ? <laughs> Pick up my son, come on. Oh, yeah, come on. He's about 12 years old, black. <laughs> Surprise, if anybody patted me on the butt, it'd be all over for them. <laughs> Why would I want to be like Black Barbie over there? <laughs> I got your Black Barbie, little girl. <laughs> what, hanging out with other at-risk kids with nothing productive to occupy your time till one day they talk you into boosting a Range Rover and knocking over a check cashing joint? <laughs> You are so wrong, I boost a Lexus. That's sweet, Rod. Hey, somebody pat Joey on the butt for me. Coaches can't do that anymore. Paul's father has been gone for a long time, and... I... It's okay. We don't need words. Well... Mo, what are you doing? Boy, it has been a long time. <laughs> You're a 33-year-old single woman who's insecure about whether or not she's still desirable to men. So you thought you'd prove it by seducing a 17-year-old boy on the verge of manhood. No, now, don't pretend like that's not what's going on here. You want me. You know it, and I know it. So if you're ready to go for it, fine. But if not, that's cool, too, because Morris L. Tibbs does not have time for these little mind games. What do we do now, kick him? Kicking him won't make him feel better. It would make me feel better. <laughs> Snap out of it! You're making me sick! You're acting like a punk! Son, he's having a tough time there. He's a lump! Nobody's gonna pay to see a lump. You're so unpredictable. You're either hysterically happy or wildly depressed. Am I gonna be like that when I'm 16? <laughs> if I let you live that long. Mm. Milk has done her body good! You shooting those free throws? Use your legs. Back at you. He blew it. Stupid, stupid kid. You bet I always knew I'd get you in the back seat someday. Pick up the phone and you'll have to explain to Dad why you let me die at Kenny's house. I know I ruined your date, but please don't try and kill me. They think you're a freak and you'll never ever fit in. <laughs> Facility is upstairs, second door on the right in your vet's room. Stay out of her underwear drawer. She hates that. <gasps> is that beer? <laughs> it's beer. What, you, you got a problem with that? Oh, no. I don't have a problem with anything. He keeps trying to lick my neck. And once or twice could have been an accident. You want me to get rid of him? Getting girls in their drawers. <laughs> oh, girls. It's a slip and slide contest in the kitchen. I can get you into the quarterfinals. Mike, I would participate in something that is so totally degrading. You have got to be. I'll be a judge. <laughs> First of all, I'm not your lady. And second of all, ew. I wouldn't be so picky if I was you. Lewis, man, maybe you should take that ice into the kitchen and cool down. I don't know if he did. Maybe he got an accident. Marcus! I mean, Dad's just thrown from a car. He's fine, but delayed. Anyway, sicko! No. 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 Oh! Man, look at all my bricks. We use the internet. There's more on it than that Pippi Longstocking website. Hey, that, 
that was an accident. I was searching for the Scotty Pippen website. All right, look. All I need to know is what hospital you were born at. Hey, man. Pippi Longstocking had some fascinating adventures. <laughs> Leave me alone. I could have brothers I don't know about. I could have sisters. But I'm knowing I could have dated one of my own sisters. I could have made out with my own sister. <laughs> Excuse me. I was wondering if y'all can help me out. It looks like I got myself kind of pregnant. <laughs> I should say so. Are you considering adoption? I guess. It's just... Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't worry. We couldn't have children of our own. That must have been rough. Oh, but we tried. Not bad was for me. But none for Delroy. That's a seed killer. Delroy switched to loose boxes so as to keep cool and unconstricted. <laughs> but in the end, my eggs were simply not such eggs as could bless our union with issue. My eggs were disappointing eggs. Now, time is running out on our little economics class report. We have to create and run a small business. I got one. Hood safaris. <laughs> Hood safaris. Yeah. It's an expedition for white people who will swim with sharks, climb Mount Everest, explore active volcanoes, but are afraid to go to the hood for good barbecue. Hold on to that. You can get your hair cut. Mo's really good. Yeah, I could tell by his prime location and mobs of customers. Get yourself another guinea pig, Figaro. Boy? Boy? I'll take him inside. You may be saving a life. No. <laughs> oh, too bad the woman's the mother of Satan. <laughs> You're peeping at my sister? <laughs> you can't peep at my sister. That's gross. I have a stick handy. <laughs> so, this will have to do. <gasps> Are you two Marcus and Mo? Uh, uh, no. Nah, in fact, they, they died. <laughs> Welcome to Marcus and Moe's Hood Safari. Today we'll be venturing to Miss Kizzy's Hickory Hut Barbecue on 30th Avenue, deep in the heart of the hood. Now, there's nothing to fear except for stereotypes perpetuated by the media. Uh, please sign this waiver. It absolves Hood Safari of any liability, okay? Please sign this waiver. Thank you. Now, you will order a rib tip sandwich, potato salad, and a socket to me cake. Get in, get out, and do not ask what type of oil it was cooked in. Wow. If you are not back on the van in 15 minutes, we will leave you. Okay? Let's go have some fun in the hood. See you later, sexy. Now, if I don't see some improvement in your grades, things are gonna get ugly around here. And I'm talking about Grandma getting out the tub ugly. And that's when... Well, in Victor's case, I was wrong. He's different. Oh, my God, he's gay. He's not gay. He's just mature. Hey, what's up with them? They hate the pictures? No, they think you're gay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's other stuff in there besides make love to beautiful women, earn big bucks. How we miss that one? I, I call. There's some fine print. You don't want to know, bro. Well, can you come pick us up? Oh, hell. <laughs> I know you can't say the H word. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's Destiny's child. Destiny's child is here. Uh, baby, I don't know if I can rock this at the concert. See, I'm dressing to look like Puff Daddy, not Pump Daddy. Haters in the beginning. Black folk always get killed early in these things. Now, what you gonna do with a shirt that says I'm hers? Sit next to fine older women and make people think I'm with them? <laughs> You know, I was going to invite her over to introduce you guys. Now I'm just going to tell her you're dead. You cute tush. Buns of steel. That's right. 
right. When Yvette broke up with Todd, I waited well over three weeks before I went out with him. You went out with Todd? <laughs> what are you, a tramp? Little Miss Hot Pants tramp? <laughs> he asked me out, Miss. I'm saving myself for marriage. Oh, see, Nina, you better come get your girl, because we're about to get into it. Oh, you want a piece of me? Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently, you have me confused with Todd. That's <laughs> You see, I was in the cafeteria, and this guy just cut in front of me. So, you know, I lost it. So I picked up my tray, and I hit him in the back of the head, and I just kept hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. Well, what did you tell her? Well, that I was over her, and she physically made me sick, and she should die. You know how when they cut off your arm, but you still feel like it's there, but it's not there? And then you found out your, your best friend has run off with your arm? You're sitting there thinking to yourself, Dad. My best friend should be looking after me because I'm the one who just lost an arm. <laughs> Instead, he's going off to the concerts with your arm. I know exactly what you mean. Hey, Dad. Son, you're cooking in the nude. You and great. I'll get it. No, you won't. Get it this time. Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Alicia, let me ask you a question. What in God's name is wrong with you women? Speaking for me personally, I'm slightly hypoglycemic, and I also sunburn really easily. Speaking for women in general, shut your mouth, you sexist pig, you. <laughs> See, cool would be you working with her in your room late, late into the night until she's too tired to go home. So then she borrows a T-shirt and asks if she could spend the night. Then what? I'll tell you later, man. Come on, there's nothing in here for us. Dear diary, today I finally bought those black lace panties. Oh, oh shoot, I must have opened the wrong file. Well, man, there are no wrong files with panties in them. Oh, that's preposterous. <laughs> Shut up. Girl, you better watch where you going. It's taking so far in the hallway. You need to lose some weight, what you need okay. to do. Maybe you should learn some manners. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh, you're naughty. We'll see about that Friday night. Oh, my God. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it. I just got off the phone with Alicia's mom. Somebody tried to run Alicia over with a car. <laughs> She's right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> it's too late for apologies. <laughs> or is it Yvette? I just think I have a much better shot at the University of Oregon. Oregon? You don't want to go to Oregon, girl. You want to go someplace you can get some black hair care products. Money is sexy. <laughs> See, I'll work out of the garage, and you'll stay here and raise the kids. Then after your dad croaks, we'll move downstairs. <laughs> hey, so I got a D minus on my math midterm. This homework service is bogus. It's, it's whack. <laughs> There's another side of me that you don't even know about. A side that can be real dangerous. <laughs> Take your hand off my butt. Yes, ma'am. How does somebody like that get the lead? I can think of two very good reasons. I was thinking of getting into the acting game. Maybe she can give me some tips. I did say tips, didn't I? An actress gets the lead in a play when she's got breasts halfway out to the snack bar. Yeah, things have really turned around for me since last June. Oh, what happened last June? These. <laughs> and by these, you mean those? Yeah. Man, we just want to give him a dose of his own medicine. I thought we was going to hit him. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you have done? It's <laughs> nice. Hey, Good size. How big can we make them? <laughs> big enough to put an eye out. <laughs> Go for it. I've been thinking about breasts all night. <laughs> I mean yours. No, I, 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 I mean, I mean the big ones. <laughs> Let's start over. At least you've got something that sticks out. <laughs> We're not 
talking about your small breasts now. We're talking about my big ears. So I pitched the idea of a boob job to my father as a graduation gift. <laughs> What'd he say? He'd prefer I never graduate. <laughs> Look here, man. Your mama's hair is so short, when she rolls it, she uses rice. <laughs> Your daddy, he got a wooden leg with a wheel on it. He run like this. <laughs> But your mama is so fat, last time she saw 90210, it was on the bathroom scale. <laughs> She goes to the beach, cats try to bury her. <laughs> well, your family is so poor, I stepped on a lit cigarette in your living room and your family said, who turned out to eat? <laughs> oh, yeah, your mama is so fat. When she jumped in the air, she got stuck. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to read for Bernadette. Okay. Oh, very good. Here are your signs. Can I get you something? A, a, something to drink? Water? A Diet Coke? Uh, yeah, water would be great. Okay. <laughs> Does your character have a boyfriend? Go away. Where did you get those? <laughs> From the department store. Are they too big? No, no, no. They seem to be fine to me. Could you occasionally look up? Oh, sure. Are they in proportion? Gonna have to look down again. Quickly! No, they seem to be fine. So you like me better this way? No, I liked you fine before. Oh, which is it? I like them small, but not like them big. What can I say? I'm a fan of the whole genre. <laughs> so I think you should do whatever makes you feel best. I did say best, didn't I? Yes, you did. You are so dumb, you couldn't even pass a blood test. <laughs> dumb? It's not your fault. It runs in the family. Your mama's so dumb, she thinks the English channel is pay cable. <laughs> You know, And your daddy's so ugly, when he looked out the window, he got arrested for Mooney. <laughs> Don't you ever talk about my daddy getting arrested. I'm sorry, man. I thought we were just trading snaps. Well, knock it off. Whoa. <laughs> Where'd you get those? Oh, these? Yeah, those. What's going on? Don't worry, they're removable. I just had them in for the audition. And then I started to think about it, you know, and I decided I don't want bigger breasts just so I can get the lead in a play. And I don't want bigger breasts just so guys can look at me and go, whoa. <laughs> Could you wear that short purple skirt with the slit in it? I like that. <laughs> It's been up all weekend. Your sister had me writing an eight-page essay on why women should get equal pay for equal work. Equal pay? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? You sound like one of those women in the health films who smoke through their throats. Agree her to death. Oh. You still don't get it, do you? No. But it has the word death in it, so I'm on board. Cordell, let me just copy you to Players Club. Want to watch it later? I don't know. It takes place in a strip joint, right? Yeah. I think it might kind of exploit the women a little bit in a nude sort of way, you know what I mean? Boy, that number 34 is hot. Yeah. Oh, she got some chunk in the trunk. No, 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 look at number 22. I don't think she got a bra on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, jump ball. Uh. Woo! Hey, WNBA, I love this game. It's fantastic. Huh? It's up. Man, where have you been? The hack man starts in three minutes. Come on, I hear in the opening credits he killed somebody with a snowblower. Try and get the top bunk in prison. <laughs> Oh, perfect. I'm a loner. Why don't you just tell him I'm president of the Saddam Hussein fan club? Are you? No! <laughs> Dad and I saw that two-time a little tramp kissing on some other guy the other night. Oh, Dad. Great impression of an angry black man. If you tell Mo, I'll just deny it. Who do you think he's gonna believe? <laughs> I've been his friend since the first grade. I lick his ear. I see your point. <laughs> 
Yeah, what do you think he's doing? I don't know, probably Jehovah's Witness or something. <laughs> well, dude must be blacker than Wesley Snipes because I don't see him. And I sure don't want to see Danny Glover's naked butt. <laughs> Oprah looked pretty good, though. Look, I'm trying to not get assassinated here. My plate's kind of full. <laughs> Just watching Will Smith. They're like mental steroids. Except your heart won't crap out when you're 30. <laughs> I would definitely say Jennifer Lopez. I have to disagree. Jennifer's butt is wider, but if you're talking total area, Janet Jackson's butt is bigger. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. But if I have to stop the game for another soppy speech, I'm gonna kill somebody. Anybody else got boyfriend problems? No. <laughs> you got anything to drink around here? No. Oh, that's okay. I do. <laughs> I'll get the ice. And here on the right side are the products. Now, I want you to do all the equations on page 32. And don't think just because I'm a substitute, you can skip all the work. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? Come on in. We've got all night. <laughs> Same thing I'm thinking. Come on in. We've got all night. And a pizza. <laughs> I should stay after school with Miss Caldwell. There's a couple things I like to go over with her, too. <laughs> Guys, don't talk about her like that. She's a nice lady. Yeah, with some nice... <laughs> I mean, you know, you try hard, but the only reason you're starting because that tall white kid got mono. I know, you know. And when Coach Musio walks through that door, he's gonna know. And I'm gonna go, really? I thought it was me. Then my dad's gonna look me in the eye and know I'm lying because I'm the worst liar in the world. Then he's gonna kill me. Then I'm gonna be dead. Then I'm gonna send back all that stuff. Yeah, when I'm 18, she'll be 34 and we'll both be entering our sexual peaks. <laughs> That's right. Sexual peaks. I looked it up. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you? Dad blocked all the websites that have nudity in them. <laughs> no, he's too. He's not. He's too. He's not You're short. Fat. Okay. They didn't tell you? Yeah. During the commercial, they fired my hairy butt. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't have any bookings for lectures. My agent says he can't sell me. <laughs> I'm fine. I know. How old are you? Oh, almost 13. Oh, he'll be long dead by then. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm so sorry. When they're abnormally large like my grandson, their hearts tend to crap out. Ellie Mae was so fine. I love that rope she used as a belt. That was sexy. And you, you ought to show a little more gratitude. <laughs> Damn it, Floyd, you're right. Thank you. I don't know anything about it. Well, apparently you don't. Oh, be quiet. Go outside and drink. I got an appointment for my grandson across town. Oh, good. Is it a doctor? No, I know this real fast female in Manassas. If my grandson can get her pregnant, I get 500 bucks. God, that's horrible. Nah, he's gonna love it. It'll take his mind off losing that eye in a fight with a pit bull. You can ask him yourself. He's tied up right outside. Check him out. Don't be alarmed if he tries to sniff you. TJ, you can't stop prices from going up, man. Why don't you just handle this the way the rest of us are? Reach your arm up there and try to snatch you a can. Be married to me. Big corporations push a little guy around all the time. Sometimes they kill him. That top makes me look fat. No. Eating that bag of cookies makes you look fat. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I can't do it. I like a girl with a little meat on her bones. <laughs> you see that face? I hate that face. Now, what are we going to do about that face? Axler? Uh, Come on, son, speak your mind. Do we have to do anything? He's just a kid. Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, the typical Admiral TJ soda drinker is a teenager. So as teenagers, what do you guys like to do? Well... <laughs> Besides that... TJ, can I have a word with you? I'm busy. Too busy for a whooping? <laughs> Not that busy. Wake up, people! What other choice do we have? We got banana. I'm running with an anchor. You want to go swimming with an anchor? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hot under pants. Hot under pants. We're going to order pizza tonight. No, 
no, I wasn't. She was. But I go along with it because she gets so wound up in those protests, and afterwards she wanted me to we'd go for ice cream. <laughs> I miss the 80s when kids just didn't give a damn. Well, now we do. You want to lower the boom on these thugs? I can get you a stun gun here in 24 hours. <laughs> So you're proposing we electrocute the students? It's easy to poke holes, Basil. <laughs> you look like a bug. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, well, you... You ugly. Stand back, boys. Leave it to me. Pretty fly for a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's beer. See, see, I told you he was smart. You just don't want me to embarrass you on the dance floor. Don't no sweat it. Just do whatever you can do, baby. Come on. Yeah. Watch out now. Oh. oh my gosh. You idiot. I I'm sorry. Here, let me help you. No, just get away from me. You better run. Get out of here. 